The police shooting of the unarmed woman in Minnesota just got a lot worse. The shooting of Australian Justine Damon by a Minneapolis police officer has had some disturbing developments. First, there were just the facts themselves, that Damon was shot while unarmed in her pajamas reporting a disturbance call to the police. She was shot by Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor. He was in his patrol car when she approached the driver's side of the car to speak to his partner. He shot across his partner, through the car door, striking her in the stomach and killing her. There were reports that he had prior complaints against him. And now an even more troubling report. There are reports that Nurse partner, Matthew Harity, was stunned by his actions and that shooting may have been related to a loud sound that could have been fireworks. A police source told CARE 11 that Harity was left stunned by Officer Mohammed Nur's actions. A reference to fireworks can be heard during the police radio conversations between Officer Noor, Officer Matthew Harity, and the police dispatcher coordinating the emergency call and other officers rushing to scene. The suggestion seems to be could he have mistaken fireworks for a gunshot. The BCA said Officer Harity told authorities the men had heard a loud sound near the squad car as they approached the scene without their emergency lights on. Damon approached his driver's side. Harity indicated that Officer Nur discharged his weapon, striking Ruzchuk through the open driver's side window, authorities said. But worse yet. Now Nur is demanding that people respect his privacy and is refusing to help investigators. The Independent Minnesota Department of Public Safety Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, not the Minneapolis Police Department, is investigating the shooting and revealed on Wednesday that Nur has refused to be interviewed. Officer Nur has declined to be interviewed by BCA agents at this time. Officer Nur's attorney did not provide clarification on when, if ever, an interview would be possible, the BCA said in a press release on its website on Tuesday night. Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges said that he should testify. We can't compel him by law, but I wish that he would make that statement. There are big questions left that we still have and that we hope to have answered soon. Why did Officer Nur draw and fire his gun? What happened from the time the officers arrived on the scene to when she was pronounced dead? Why don't we have footage from body cameras? Why were they not activated? We all want answers to those questions. Hodges had praised Nur's addition to the police department two years ago when he joined as the first Somali officer on the force. 